guys and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Guys, it is spring right here in Texas. Finally, we got the Jeep TJ out. We're going to make some modifications to this little fella over the next couple of days and we're going to get this thing ready for the road. Guys, today what we're actually going to do is we're going to install two brackets on the front of the Jeep TJ so that we can run some spots. Now, these are quad brackets from Oxmart. Links there in the description if you're interested in that product. Then we're going to have like two lights. Two lights on each side. We're gonna install those right now, right here on Bubba's Garage. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about the product real quick, and then we'll get into this insulation. I don't really foresee this insulation being that complicated. No, I mean, remove it looks some bolts, simple. install some bolts. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. So let's talk about the quality of the brackets, guys. Honestly, I mean these are just shy of a quarter inch. They're pretty heavy duty. Now they pretty got impressive. that wrinkle finish to it. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Um, they're pretty. I mean, I don't want to throw it on the ground, but. I mean, they're pretty stout. They're definitely heavy duty. Yeah. Uh, you, they're not going to go go wrong. I mean, you really can't go wrong with brackets. I mean, nah. as long as you got a good finish on them, then you know you're going to be okay. Not long ago, we actually installed some brackets on the Altitude Edition. Those the paint started chipping. We had to refinish them. This we're going to find out how well these are going to hold up here really soon. But I believe these are going to work out fairly well. Now yeah. they also come with this foam padding that you put on the back of that so that you don't scratch up your Jeep. Now, this is a Jeep TJ. So, well, it's seen its days. And honestly, <laughs> if you follow us right here on Bubba's Garage, then you know, well, we've done a lot of stuff to the Jeep TJ. And we hope to do a lot more a here lot really, really more. soon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Once you get your bolts out of there, this is a great opportunity to clean up the Jeep just a little bit because you are going to be putting some brackets on there. And, well, you just don't want to just scratch up the Jeep any more than it already is. <laughs> this, this Jeep is scratched up a little bit. Honestly, guys, I want to get it painted, but just not yet. i uh, got a lot more other things that I want to do to it first. But we ran into a slight snafu, so let me show you about that real quick. So what we got is these bolts came out of the Jeep. They're about a one-inch long bolts, and they're contoured on the ends. And well, if you take those bolts and you put them through the bracket, you can see the beveled edge is really not going to fit flat with your no. bracket. And you don't have a lot of room underneath here to give it a good bite on the Jeep. Now, right. we're actually in luck right here on Bubba's Garage because not long ago we installed the J5 light bar and we removed some of the uh, bolts from the winter edition. So we're gonna reuse those bolts. We're gonna put them through here and we should have enough bite on the TJ. But I'm not really sure. We're gonna find out here really, really quick. But one thing to note is you're probably not gonna be able to install these without getting some bolts. Keep that in mind. Yes. Now, first, before we install those, we're gonna put on our foam padding on the back of this and then we're gonna take them out to the Jeep. Now we're going to put the brackets on the Jeep. We're going to find out if these bolts will hold out. I just hope they're not too long. Bobby is going to, well, I mean, girls can do this too, guys. Girls can definitely do this. I mean, honestly, right here on Bubba's Garage, if you've seen our videos, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Bobby and Shelby do a lot of Jeep stuff right here. And, well, let them do it. Let them do it because it'll give you an excuse to buy more parts. <laughs> Guys, just like that, honestly, these brackets are probably one of the fastest things we've ever installed right here in Bubba's Garage. Oh, I know. The right? insulation went really well. It did. It I was mean, quick. We only had that one problem. The bolts were just, you know, just the factory bolts aren't going to work, guys. No. I mean, that's the bottom line. You're going to have to replace your bolts. Outside of that, the quality of this product is definitely there. They're very heavy duty. Definitely. I love the wrinkle finish. And you get the ability to put dual spots on there. You can put two if you want. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So one out of five bubble thumbs, how many would you give it? 
I'd have to give it a four. Okay. And the only reason I give it a four is because of the bolts. I, you Everything know, else, yeah. the quality is there. It looks great installed. I love the way they look. Yeah. It's just that. I, I kind of get that because, I mean, honestly, if we weren't Bubba's and we had all this stuff laying around, we would be making a trip to the hardware store, and that would kind of suck. Yeah. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, if you guys are going to look at these brackets, do me a favor. Definitely be sure to get you some extra bolts because you're going to need them. They need to be a little bit longer. Other than that, the quality is definitely there, guys. So one out of five Bubba Thumbs. Bobby gives it a four. Yeah. Guys, if these brackets are something that you're interested in, do me a favor. Check the links in the description. They're by Oxmart. Definitely great quality. First time we've ever installed them right here on Bubba's Garage. And, well, I'm kind of wanting to add some light to this fella really fast. Oh, yeah. Really fast. So coming up right here on Bubba's Garage, we're going to install some Oxbeam LED spotlights on this little fella and see, well, how it really looks. Honestly, it looks kind of covert right now. Putting yeah. those spots on it are really going to light it up. Oh, yeah. So Definitely. Guys, if you like videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button, and more importantly, hit the subscribe button, because coming up next, right here on Bubba's Garage, is the installation of those Oxbeam lights. Yes. Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.